I do a lot of tutorials on Unify and I do a lot of testing with them, but long-term reliability testing is not easy. It's not something as simple to set up because it's not just leaving it on, it's how did it survive updates with lots of users on it and constantly being on, you know, not just kind of tossed around in a lab, but that's what I'm bringing here in this video. We have installed thousands of these Unify devices. Specifically, we're gonna talk about access points and switches, but the 283 access points, and I have a video linked down below from a 2020 review, which was reviewing what we did in 2018. So now I'm gonna talk about that 2018 install here in May of 2024, and just answer the questions very quickly here. Out of the 283 access points, they actually added a few more. They had bought 300 of them, so they had spares kind of banking on, hey, some might fail. So how many have failed over the last about six years? Well, that number is five, but maybe six. They do have a sixth one that looks like there might be some trouble that they've had to reboot it a couple of times, but it's currently working. So they haven't gotten up there to replace it and see if maybe it's just a cabling issue or a wiring issue, but five officially have died, which out of the 283 installed, well, actually they installed a few more later from when I did the 2020 video, that's a pretty good number. That's a pretty small statistic. That is a couple percent. Now I can compare this to some of the other projects we've done with more modern Unify equipment, such as a project we did in 2022. And we've had zero out of the 300 plus access points and 70 switches we installed in that school district in 2022 during the summer months. Uh, it has now survived two sessions of students being attached to it. And those are all working fine with zero failures on that particular project. But, you know, these are those longer term things I'm going to try to bring to the channel from time to time to let you know why we keep choosing a product line or if a product line has proven reliable because everything works mostly out of the box. It's that long term that really matters of confidence in a product. And generally speaking, provided the companies don't uh, start losing their way. And I'm going to say with Unify, they've gone the opposite. They've gotten better with their products over the years. The stuff they have here in 2024 is way cooler in terms of performance and functionality and reliability, I think has increased with their products. But of course, if I'm installing and as we are, many of these projects we've done in 2024, it's going to be a few more years before I can truly tell you how reliable these are. Now, that's all I have to say for this video, but leave some comments down below if you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, follow-ups on some of the Unify installs we've done or other products just in general. Also, like and subscribe to stay tuned for content from this channel or head over to my forums, forums.lawrencesystems.com. They have a more in-depth discussion about this and other topics or head over to lawrencesystems.com where you can connect with me via my newsletter or any of the socials that you find there. All right, and thanks.